Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, I guess. Today's video obviously is a Q&A. Before we get started, a lot of the questions you guys asked were related to x-ray school. I'm trying to kind of avoid questions related to that because I've already done two Q&As completely dedicated to that. So I'll link those in the description box. So please go check those out if you're interested. I asked on YouTube for you guys to ask me questions. Also, if you guys are wondering where my phone case is from, I'll link it in the description box. Tiffany asked, what do you film with? What editing software do you use? Asking because I love your vid setup. I have this listed in every single description box. I use a Canon G7X Mark II and I use Final Cut Pro 10. Haley Elizabeth asked, how many kids do you want? None. What is your favorite book or movie? Um, Elf or Hocus Pocus. I love both of those movies. Where do you want to live? If I could choose a state, I really enjoy Colorado because of the hiking and just there's so much to do and the state actually experiences every single season. So I really like that and it does remind me a lot of home, um, but there's just more to do. So I really like Colorado. Favorite breed of dog, golden retriever and favorite sport to watch. Um, I like hockey and football. Avery Lynn asks, how do you find time to fit everything in? I struggle with scheduling time for everything. She works full time, has school, three classes, family, relationship, friends, social life, any advice? I get overwhelmed too. I have a lot on my plate as well. I don't really sleep very much and I'm very busy all the time. Like today my step count, it is 4.57 right now. My step count is at um, 10.5 thousand and I've been up since 5 a.m. So it's been a long day for me, but I pack a lot in. I'm not the best at time management and everything, but I use a daily planner that has like hourly time schedules. I will link one below. Um, the one that I have personally, I don't think they sell it online at Target. I've looked a few times, but I just use a day designer for Target and it was like maybe $12. So I really like daily planners to help me plan out as well as Google Calendar. It's free, it's linked to your Gmail, and you can also link it to your Apple um, calendar. I struggle to but I would definitely recommend getting a planner and taking time for yourself. Lindsay asks, what's your dream car? Ooh, I don't even know. I have a Hyundai Santa Fe and I really like it. Um, what else? I like the, God, what are they called? One second, I have to look. I like the new Chevy Traverses. What are some big goals that you have in life? Well, my biggest goal in my entire life was to hit 10,000 subscribers and I just did that. Like what? I think we're even at 11,000 now. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much and I can't even believe it. That was truly my number one goal, but we hit it. So I guess reaching 50,000 would be my next biggest goal. Do you plan on keeping up with your scrunchie biz once you start your job? This week I have been insanely busy with um, orientation for my new job. So I haven't had a single ounce of time to work on scrunchies. So it's definitely gonna be put on the back burner. And honestly, the whole scrunchie thing wasn't even, like I didn't really start it in hopes to make a business. I just sewed some crunchies for myself and I had extras and my friends were like, hey, you should sell them. I hope to keep doing scrunchies though. I do. Amanda asked, is it hard to find time to shoot slash edit your videos while in school? I typically do vlogs or like easy sit down videos like this. So really that's just like showing my everyday life and it doesn't really take a lot of effort or even extra time to sit down and like talk to the vlog or like update what I'm doing in that little short span of time. The longest part definitely is taking time to edit. Editing does take a while, especially when you're nitpicky like I am. Lakin asks, how do you stay motivated? Also, how do you juggle school with work? What's hard about being in this program is they set your hours basically, so you have to kind of work around it, which I know is hard for some people who are going into this program already having a job, but weekends are pretty much a lot of the time that person is gonna have to work, otherwise after clinical, which like today I got done at four o'clock, so I would have until the evening time to work. A lot of the times I'm just working on weekends. So that's how I am able to juggle school and work and I just prioritize my time as best as I can. Aisha, a Aisha, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. What is your dream country you are thinking of visiting or living in? I actually have never thought of living in a different country, but I've always wanted to travel outside of the US and go to like European countries. I would love to visit France and Italy. Iceland looks really cool. Australia. I just want to get everywhere. <laughs> Another Day With A asks, what's your favorite season and why? I really like summer because we have such a short summer here and half of the year is winter. So um, I really enjoy just like being able to go outside and not have to wear a coat and be able to be warm. I really like summer just because you can go to the lake, you can spend time outside, 
can soak up some UV rays with some sunscreen on. <laughs> Liberty asked, why did you start a YouTube channel? I've been on YouTube for three years and you can kind of see how I've grown and how I've evolved and changed. I had been wanting to start it since I was pretty much in ninth grade. I had found Bethany Moda and Andrea Russett and I had wanted to start a channel ever since. I actually did have a channel a couple times in high school, but I deleted all the videos. And I also was part of like a collab channel and I can't remember what it was called, but we only posted on it for like two months and then we all just like ventured off back into our own lives. I just enjoyed watching other people's lives and here we are now, I don't know. Angeli asked, what has been the best day of your life? I have had so many great days, I just can't even bring it down to one. I'm so thankful for everything that I've ever had and been given in my lifetime and I know I'm very fortunate for the things that I have so if you could change one thing about yourself physically what would you change I think I would change the fact that I wish I was more driven to exercise like I freaking hate working out I absolutely hate it I have tried many 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 times to get into it and I just hate it I wish I could change that about myself still force myself to do it occasionally but They'll hate it. Shay asks, I pretty much watch every video you post since I've subscribed to you. I've noticed that even after all day of class driving clinical, you still have energy to clean, cook, do schoolwork, etc. Do you take any vitamins or any type of healthy supplement to help with energy? And if you do, what do you take? Typically, no, I don't take any supplements or vitamins, even though I probably should. I used to take the Ollie like women's multivitamin, and I've recently started to try to take those again ever since I read this comment. And also vitamin C. I feel like especially when I don't sleep as much, I'm like depleting my body of energy and the sleep that it needs to heal and stuff. And I've noticed my throat kind of starting to hurt. And a lot of people around me are getting sick. So I'm really, 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 knock on wood, not wanting to get sick. I drink a lot of coffee. That's my one thing. I think the one thing I get like so tired to a point where I'm not tired anymore, if that makes any sense, probably not at all. If you don't, do you have any suggestions to like have energy? I have zero energy after being in class all day. I really think this is a learned process because last year when I was a first year and I was learning all these procedures and positioning and I was just overwhelmed and stressed out, I think I definitely couldn't have done what I do now. I think it's just learned over time. Yeah, I'm sorry I don't really have any more advice, but <laughs> I don't know how I do it. I really don't. <laughs> Chelsea asked if you had to pick a different modality to study, what would you choose? I would probably choose ultrasound. Also, do you have any recommendations for shoes to wear at clinical? We're allowed to wear any style that doesn't have like perforated holes such as Crocs, but I would recommend wearing a pair that is not like typical Nike sneakers. I tried wearing those and my feet hurt so freaking bad I can't even explain the pain. But I recently just got Brooks, which I'll link them in the description box, but I got those. I really, really, really like those and I find that my feet don't hurt from them. But it did take a little bit to break them in. So I do like Brooks. I would definitely give them a try. Casey asked, uh, when you were first going into Rad Tech, did you feel lost and like you weren't understanding right away? Were there times you were struggling? I just started my third week and have an exam tomorrow and I feel so lost. I think there are times for everyone in this program that a lot of people feel like they don't know what they're doing and I think with time things start to click and make more sense. Like a lot of us were lost with a lot of different positioning and a lot of us feel your pain in that area and I think the more that you're practicing in clinical and the more that you study the material, the more it makes sense. So don't be too hard on yourself. It happens to the best of us and just keep pushing through it. I promise it will all make sense once you start seeing things more often. Once you see it in the clinical setting, I feel like it makes a little bit more sense. Kayla asked, how exactly do markers stick? I'm trying to prepare for clinicals and I'm not sure if x-ray markers are magnetic. <laughs> Let me go get mine. They're taped. Literally tape. Tape is actually disgusting, I hate it. So at my new job, wink wink, I'm getting a new set of markers, so I'll probably get some um, rad adhesive, which you can buy on Etsy, it's like this clear, I don't know what it's made of, it's like this sticky glue stuff that you put on the back of the marker. If it starts to like not get sticky, I think you just wipe it with like an alcohol wipe and I think it just like gets really sticky, but I'll link some in the description box. I'm pretty sure it's called Rad Adhesive. 
Next question, Maddie asks, does your new job involve what you're studying now? Yes, my new job does have to do with my major. So I am going to be a rad tech intern. So basically I'll be working as a student intern x-ray tech and um, I'm really excited. Desiree Dawn asked, what's your biggest pet peeve? <gasps> I feel so annoying, but I do have quite a few pet peeves. I hate left lane drivers on the highway. I don't know, I kind of have a lot of pet peeves, but I do really hate left lane drivers. Uh, Steph asked, what is your go-to self-care practice when you are feeling down? I'm 23, so I can partake in this, but I really like to have a small glass of like white cheap wine and sit on the couch, watch some Netflix, and just have a relaxing night. I like to make some popcorn, watch a movie, watch some friends whatever floats your boat i think it's just like taking me time doing a face mask um going to bed early like there's nothing wrong with that another question about how many kids i want and what genders you hey guys i don't really i don't really want kids i like other people's kids i just don't foresee myself being a mother <laughs> i see myself being a dog mom though but if i had to pick i would maybe want like two boys I feel like a girl would be so hard. I don't know. And then what's your favorite brand of clothing? Um, hmm. I really like shopping at American Eagle. I feel like a lot of their clothes are really reflective of my personality and like what I like to wear. And I guess I really like free people, but they're really expensive and I don't buy from them rarely ever. If it's at TJ Maxx, I'll buy it. But someone asked, what do you plan on doing after you graduate? Do you plan on moving or staying near your family? I would like to move back to my hometown and probably move in with my boyfriend. I don't know though. We haven't talked about it. We've been dating for three years. So Juana, I think is her name. What do you do to stay in shape? Um, I walk 10,000 steps at clinical. <laughs> my legs hurt so bad at the end of the day that I just can't bring myself to go work out. Like I, I physically think I would fall. Like I physically do think I would literally fall on my face. I used to lift weights. I actually enjoy lifting weights. I just hate cardio. Kayla asked, who are your favorite people to watch on YouTube? I really enjoy watching my friends first. And then as for like bigger YouTubers, I like to watch Bianca Franco. She is so real and I wish that I could have her dedication to working out. I really like Brooke Michio. Those are like the main people that I watch frequently. And the last one, um, Kelsey asked, when did you know radiology was the field for you? Right out of high school, my parents were like, you should look into radiology. Like it's a great field. You can go into so many different modalities um, x-ray is a great stepping stone or you can stay in it but I didn't listen and I decided to pursue nursing and I worked as a DSP which is like a CNA we had to do like med exchanges so we had to like actually work with the medications for clients but it's basically like a group home setting and um, I quickly learned that patient cares were not for me. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't love the work that I was doing. I was lucky enough to be able to shadow um, the x-ray tech at my mom's work because my mom's an ultrasound tech and um, I really liked it. And I decided to um, take an intro course and I really, really enjoyed it. So I applied. Your parents may not be always right, but I can say my parents are right 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> If I had listened to them sooner, I would have been graduated um, and working a long time ago. But of course, I had to be stubborn and didn't listen. But I did not know that radiology was going to be for me right away. But I do know now that I really do enjoy it. I look forward to learning all the new things that there are because it, there's something new every single day. And I think it's cool because every single day is a different day. And two days will never be the same. So I don't know. I think it's a really cool feel. That's it for this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram if you guys haven't already. I just hit 2,000 followers on there, so that's super exciting. But if you haven't already, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in my next video.